Kick Book Edition, this is your boy King Pookie coming to the house talking about the Chicago Bulls and Milwaukee Bucks um series. So we all saw it coming, you know, that, that you know the Bulls were gonna get dominated, the the Bulls had no shot against the Milwaukee Bucks, you know. And um yeah, and they killed us in in the first game and the Bulls sh was a the eighty six to ninety three and then in game two, it was a totally different story. We tied the series, and you know, so then, then we, you know, come back to game three, and it's been five years since the Bulls been in the playoffs in at home, you know, um, and we got, we got dominated, and we got killed, you know, and the it was. The Bulls 81 and the Bucks 111. And then in game four, we saw all that had come. We just knew that this was about to happen. And, you know, um, the Bulls 95 and the Bucks 119. And, I mean, like, I'm going to tell you that, I mean, the, this is like the Rosen, he shows up in the regular season. But then when it comes to the playoffs, it just disappears, you know. And um, so, uh, yeah, this is like what, you know, with Zach Levine and DeRozan. But DeRozan only had 18 points and, and, and Zach Levine had 18 points in game one. And then in game two, he had 41 points, you know. And then Zach Levine had 20. And that was like the... the most you know for the Rosen, you know, but then in game three, the Rosen only shot eleven, shot eleven points, and Levin had fifteen. Then in game four, he had twenty three, twenty three, and Levin had twenty four points. Are you serious? I mean, this guy, you know, you come clutch in the regular season, but then you disappear, and you know, um. I'm saying, man, like, I don't know, Zach Levine, but he's been always injured, and I don't know if he's the problem, and, um, you know, and, I mean, I have a problem with is the front office, because they did not do anything at the trading deadline, they did not make a move, and, you know, so then they went out and got Tristan Thompson, the drama, man. He had to bring all the drama, what is, you know, because he was he, dating Khloe Kardashian. I don't know if he's still dating her or no, I don't know. But she, he ruined the chemistry for the Chicago Bulls. And, you know, and the Rosen had, they just have, and Vucci hasn't been the same, you know, ever since Tristan Thompson has joined the team. And, you know, because, Vooch, you know, he's hot. Sometimes he's hot and then he's cold, you know. And, but, I mean, if we lose this, the next game and we're out, I mean, I think the uh, Vucevic, um chemistry, you know, it, the, the, uh, is over with. I think they just need to get a bigger man, a big man that could um, go against Giannis and, you know, I'm Joe and Beatty, you know. We need a serious and, and seriously Kobe White. I you know, him and I you you know, they like showed up in the regular season but then they like, just just disappeared and then they got cold. And then Caruso too, you know, you know, he was like he got injured well, he got injured because of that, you know. And he's never been the same. And you know what? I, you know, as I say, they did not make any moves in the train deadline, which really hurted the Chicago Bulls because, you know, this was their excuse. See, yeah, we will be healthy, you know, when, when playoffs come around. Yeah, and look at what happened. Lonzo Ball was out for the season because of their, he was not ready yet. So he's not going to be in ready into the next season and you know and this is the poorest pathetic 
you know, performance we had in we Chicago Bulls fans have been winning for five years to get into the playoffs, to see a play playoffs at home, and you, this is a performance that you guys do. You totally embarrassed us, Chicago Bulls fans, you know, and I don't think we don't, I mean, even have a shot to win. I don't think we have a shot to even in, to win the next game because then we got to win. We got to win in Milwaukee and then, and then we got to win back. I don't know if to go back to Bull Chicago. We got to win that. So we got to win two games, you know, just to tie the series. And, you know, um, so, man, man I, we all knew it. And you know what? Some Bulls fans, they fell for it. They think that they thought the Bulls had a shot to beat the Milwaukee Bucks. But you know what? Man, Giannis probably said no. Hell no. So, you know, um, we, you know, we, you're probably saying, yeah, we took out Middleton now and he's out for this season for the, this round. But still, you know, they had Grayson Allen. And then Bobby Portis, that was killing us the three pointers. They were shooting like three pointers like every day, everywhere. And um, and but yeah, um, I I think they should fire Billy Donovan. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, ever since he came back from that, you know, from the COVID, he hasn't been the same. I mean, I wish you know, I would want to have that assistant coached. For the Bulls, that coach for Billy Donovan when he was gone, and we went on to the hot streak, you know. I mean, I would like that, would like that guy, but I think Billy Donovan is gonna get a, get a pass, and he say this is only his second year, and we're gonna give him another shot, you know. Um, yeah, but man, this if we lose the next game, it's all. In the front office because they did not make a move at you know at the trade deadline and they stayed packed just because they thought they we would be healthy and you know what guess what happens look at I mean Lonzo Ball was is out for the season and he's out until the next season you know so um man but yeah this was a huge embarrassment for the Chicago Bulls basketball because. I don't know. We'll, we'll ever see another playoffs in the United Center again. So, um, this is your boy King Pookie. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to the channel and hit that big red subscribe button and and hit that bell and I'll notify you every time I have a new video. But now this is your boy King Pookie and I'll see you in the next video.